Now there's one place to discover the whole story, aljazeera.net forward slash English. Unfold the facts from over 60 bureaus and 90 correspondents worldwide. For the complete picture on global events. Get instant access to the news as it happens with our live video streaming and post your views online to join the hottest political debate. We bring you the story from every side and every angle. aljazeera.net forward slash English. A new law in Iraq, which was supposed to usher in a new era of reconciliation, is instead being viewed with fear and suspicion. Former members of Saddam Hussein's Ba'ath Party say moves to reintegrate them are a sinister trap. Our Iraq correspondent Hoda Abdul Hamid explains. It was hailed by the Bush administration as a positive step towards national reconciliation, a law that would bring back into the fold thousands of former Ba'athists. But more than two weeks later, it seems that the new accountability and justice law has had little impact yet. The vast majority of Iraqis who joined the Ba'ath Party had no other choice. If they wanted a job, they had to sign up. But for many here, this law might have come too late. After five years of killings and violence, mistrust among Iraq's different factions is so high, many former Ba'athists say they wouldn't dare resume their old jobs. Mohammed is a civil servant and a low member of the former Ba'ath Party. He won't show his face and is using a fake name because he fears someone could kill him in revenge. I believe that the new law won't change anything and most of the people involved will never get back. Believe me, it's a trap. They don't trust the government. Under the new law, low and mid-level members will be allowed to resume their old government jobs. Top officials of the party won't be allowed to resume any job, and all former Ba'athists could apply for a pension instead of a job if they wish to. This man was an Air Force officer in Saddam's army. He says the new law will actually make the divide even wider. He also refuses to reveal his identity. This is unfair. If I go back to work, they will demote me from colonel to major. This is mass revenge. The debathification law was the first edict by the U.S. administrator in Iraq, Paul Bremer, back in 2003. It was widely perceived as mass punishment and many scorned Ba'athists joined the ranks of the so-called insurgency. The policy also stripped the country of the bureaucrats and technocrats desperately needed to rebuild Iraq. But as the violence spun out of control and with new leaders with little experience in government, many senior Ba'athists were reinstated in key departments such as the Interior and Defense Ministries. Under the new accountability and justice law, they could be driven out of their jobs once again. Abdul Hamid, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.